Yeah, I think for me there was two, two trends that really stood out from a content perspective. The first was the concept of the beauty of TV with the brains of digital. And what I mean about that was we heard a lot from publishers about producing longer form content, TV movie style content for online. There's a big focus on that as well as live TV online. So obviously YouTube announced and launched their product a couple of weeks ago and Hulu launched Hulu Live this week. So really bringing our TV to the digital space, but as well from the brains aspect of it, um, bringing measurements, so the brains of digital. So there was a lot of conversation around measurement, whether it's third party like Nielsen Catalina data to be able to actually tie it back to sales, or leveraging third parties for things like place visitation rates and understanding people are actually being driven to store. And first of all, I hope that they're really, really inspired and they come away excited about some really great content that's been produced by people that they might not have originally thought was producing this really great content. So being inspired, being educated, I think you know, the reality is clients don't really get the access to these publishers that the agency people do. So I think the New Fronts does a great job of packing a lot of content into quite a short time frame so the clients can really get a lot of visibility into what's being done in the marketplace. So one of the themes around content that I really saw shine through across every publisher this week was around like really important topics, whether it's gender, whether it's race, whether it's sexual orientation. There's a lot of publishers producing content around those topics to really bring them front of mind and driving the conversation around them. So I think that's really exciting and it's an opportunity for brands, but I think brands need to be very, very careful with it because these conversations are very emotional conversations. The audience really have an emotional connection to them. So I think brands need to make sure that they're aligning with this content for the right reasons, not just jumping on the bandwagon to do it for the sake of doing it, but they need to make sure they do it in a really authentic way, otherwise it's not going to be successful. There's a lot, we've heard a lot about Snapchat, of course Facebook, about you know short form, vertical video. Uh, what about the form factors changing? What do you guys need to do and how are you playing in that new world? Yeah, it, it's definitely interesting and I think brands, media agencies and creative agencies all need to work together. Uh, but I think we need to think about video creative per platform because what you run on Hulu, which you know is inherently viewable TV-like experience, is going to be very different to what you run on one of the social platforms such as Facebook. You know, you need to think about three to six seconds to get your message across on Facebook, whereas on Hulu you can run more of the traditional TV-like ads.